Uh, anyways, uh, public relations. Hey, hey, go talk to her. Ask what it is. Ask what the pink stuff is. Love you. Ask her if you can pull it across your mouth. What's going on here? What are you doing? This is uh, peace, love, and harmony. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, love for everyone. Yeah. Love, love please, from the love police for everyone. everyone. Love. Yes. Please love, love me. Please. Yeah. I love you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tagging them with love stickers, Alex. That's well, see, this going. is a very effective psyop because this woman means well. That's you pick a salesman that no, it believes in what they're selling, and 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 they did this in England as well. And the cops actually were on our side and did follow the show, so it's real as well. But still, they're they're still they're being marked, folks. And there's a psyop above this that I bet this cop isn't even aware of. Watching, do you agree with what I just said? I don't know. I don't really know what's going on with this, but they were they were filming us earlier when we were outside the other area after we initially filmed the Bilderberg members. Paul, ask her for one and stick it across your mouth to end the transmission. Sorry, Paul, what were you saying? I don't know where they've been. You know, I'll avoid that. No, no, no was, you want a sticker. Oh, I don't want to ruin my shirt. It's an expensive shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll, I'll <laughs> refrain from that, Alex, if you're sorry. Uh, <laughs> all right. Can we just have it, then? Can we have one? Yeah, we'll get one. This is my crew. They don't do anything I tell them. Look at the spoiledness of Watson. Get, get David to go and get one. <laughs> okay, fine. If you don't want to... Oh, my gosh. What's going on here? That cop looks like she's having a little too good of a time. It is it is evening. She's on Alex, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta stop it. I gotta stop it right now. If you're not watching this, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I think something's going on over here with that cop. That's what I think. Um <laughs> this is a crazy world. Not just somebody who's dressed up as a cop. <laughs> no, that's a cop, all right. Anyways, you can see the other cops laughing at her. All right, anyways. And then, uh, is that that reporter? What's her name? Who's that, Alex? Yeah, yeah, we got a better Skype connection. Let me talk to her real quick. Hey, I didn't know we featured some of her stuff. Uh, I actually know who she is. The video was so blurry, I had to figure out who she was. That, uh, that's exciting. Tell her good job. Yeah, she can hear you now. Hi, Alex. Hey, Hi, anyways, Alex. Uh, I didn't know that I was direct. I, I wanted to get footage of the world leaders, not send you guys away from them. How many of them are out there now? Outside on the patio? Yeah. Um, I would say about 20, maybe 15 right beside the exit, and then maybe another 10 like on the uh, walkway and the broadwalk. All right, I'm going to take some phone calls, but it'd be great if you guys would go over there and get some more footage of that, and then maybe uh, I got a few words to say to them. Maybe you can translate it over and yell it at them. Okay. All right, Watson, go back over there for me, bro. All right, okay. Thank you, Paul. Let's go to some phone calls right now. I shouldn't screw around with my crew. I apologize. Uh, let's talk to Eric uh, in uh, FEMA Region 7, formerly in the U.S. Let's talk about the head of the CFR, Richard Haas. Go ahead. Hi, Eric. How are you doing today? All right. Uh, video, uh, Richard Haas. Yes. It's called... It's called Richard Haas explains that U.S. Near East strategy is the worst of all foreign policies. Yeah, I know. I mean, the CFR has a lot of different ideas in it. But uh, what's your take on that? Well, because um, I want to make sure I, I was quick because I know you got other calls. I basically said, is it an analogy to uh, the Arab Spring to the Bolshevik Revolution? You're talking about the Arab Spring? I'm sorry, I'm not making everything you're saying. Well, I mean, his point, his, his point is good if I take it that a lot of these Arab Springs and the stuff in Europe as well run by Soros, I mean, he admits that, are like the Bolshevik Revolution. They overthrow one bad thing to put in something even worse. So, yes, I, I think, but I'm not sure what spring you said. Uh, so I can't really say if I agree with you, but if you were saying that, yes, I do agree with you. Joseph in Canada, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Is that me? Absolutely, brother. If your name's Joseph. Yes, it is. Thank you. Uh, good talking with you, Alex. Uh, actually, just want to make a couple of points about the, uh, the Bilderberg thing. Sure. And actually, the outbreaks that have been happening in Africa with the 
with the disease and that. But the with the Bilderberg thing, how is it that you know they can walk around with just like armfuls of you know obvious documents that you know are displayed? They should be somewhere else. Um, there's no way to have um, a, a law force go in there and and you know acquire those. Under, well, look, you know, the point is they're not just hearing presentations. They're being given handouts. They're doing corporate meetings. They are those it's an it's an illegal governmental corporate global governance boardroom meeting. They founded the euro. That's in the BBC. They admit it. They're making big decisions. We're skipping this network break. I hear you. I appreciate that call, Joseph. Nick in California listening on KOMY 1340. In Santa Cruz, you're on the air, Nick. Um, hey, two years ago, you got a call from Canada while you're on your road trip to Bilderberg. He he's mentioning ice, uh, chemical ice, do things, and he's called it bias. And I got a report this year that they're doing chemical ice in the U.S. But last year they were going, "Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. You were overseas at Bilderberg, and I, I was going, hey, these guys are like a team of like Israel in the, in the hotel. Remember that scene where they assassinated the guy?" Yes, I appreciate your call. Uh, some of the stuff these callers are bringing up is so esoteric and, and, and that no one will understand it because they're remembering something from a radio show eight years ago or a radio show six years ago. That yes, a lot of times when I go to Bilderberg, the day it ends, I get death threats, or my family does, and they tell you what you're talking about on the phone to freak you out. Or, you know, they say, I hope your mom or dad dies in the hospital. When, I mean, but they do that, too, not just at Bilderberg. It's just that's happened twice with Bilderberg, maybe three times. You'll have a family member that's sick or something bad happening, and then that's when the call comes in. So they're just sitting there waiting, you know, listening to what you're doing, and then they want to emotionally mess with you. Hey, I can be totally tired, have a headache, and somebody death threats me for real. You just gave me months of energy. I'm in a war. I expect they'll kill me someday. I'll expect they'll torture me. I'm not looking forward to it. I don't want it. But, buddy, I'm in the game. Whatever it takes, I'll go as far as I have to. I'm beyond committed. And they don't like that. That's the one thing they're scared of, folks. You got to just get committed against these people. I want to say this again. So many people act like that I'm trying to scare people. No, I think you're like me. Illegitimate crooks are taking over. So what have they got power and weapons? They don't have moral high ground. We're going to expose them. I'm not going to just let them run my life and run me over because they're a bunch of killers and scum. I instinctively want to deal with them. Not because I'm a hero, folks. I want to live. I want to survive. I want to thrive. I have an instinct to have a good civilization. And I'm committed. And I'll use the analogy for the 500th time probably. World War II pilots, folks, they flew into the flak. It wasn't like, you know there's guns out there that fire artillery that explodes with flak that goes into your engines and goes through your windows and kills you, you know, moving 800 miles an hour on average flak once it detonates. You know, you know, you know you could die. Oh, look, you, you, know, you, you know, we could get you when you fly over our city. We're going to be, of, yes, I know, yes, yes, yes. So call and death threat all you want. Pull out the stops, dirty tricks, whatever. I don't want it to happen, but I'm at a certain level due because that's how I get through any fears I had. Whatever, it's already done. You've already killed me in my mind. I'm beyond your grasp. You understand that? You could even get me, torture me, and turn me into a mind-numb zombie down the road and say you defeated Alex Jones. No, you didn't. Understand the Zen belief, which I do buy into, because it's prima facie true, that I did this in the time-space continuum. It lives forever. It, 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 it happened. I am free now. This is me. I made these decisions. I'm committed. If I'm defeated, I win, because I fought back. I win. You lose. You're evil. I'm not. I love life. You decided to be failures. It's that simple. It's the animating contest of liberty. It is the journey, not the destination. It's about making the right decisions in this life. Real quick, we've got a Polish journalist who got some interesting photos, and we're going to talk to them real fast. Then we're going to get some footage in of the globalists. That's the number one thing I want. And then we're going to take some more phone calls from Michael 
and Toby and Sean and Mike and Clay. So wake up callers because I know when I make I sit them on hold for 30 minutes, they sound like they've been drinking corn syrup or not corn syrup, cough syrup. Uh, Paul Watson, let's talk to this fella. Yeah, this is a journalist who witnessed something very interesting with the mayor of Atlanta. So tell us your name, tell us what you saw. Yeah, my name is Jan. I'm from Poland. Uh, I work for, uh, for prisonplanet.po. And uh, today I came to Denmark to see the uh, gathering, uh, uh, Bilderberg Group. And uh, for all day I just make uh, shots from uh, the bridge nearby uh, hotel. And I saw the uh, mayor of Atlanta here. We have some shots of him. And lots of shots of the guy who spent the time in the garden behind the hotel. What did he see? Did you have any kind of interaction with him? Uh, no, he was chit-chatting with some uh, other uh, people uh, in the garden behind, yeah. And I just, I was uh, far, far behind, uh, like 100 meters from, from him, so I just... Well, great. Tell like him fantastic. Me. If he sends us the photos, we'll post them. Thank you. All right, Paul, I'm going to take some more calls in overdrive. I'd like you to get over there, please. I want to see, and with our camera, I know we've got high def that you're going to upload, so what's the point? Well... Uh, TV viewers and radio listeners want to hear the description of this or see it. Thank you so much. Uh, briefly, don't forget, we will sell out a super female vitality in the next week, max, probably the next few days. If you want to get it, get it. The male stuff works on females from the feedback we've gotten really well, but not like the female vitality. It's got two other herbs and a different combination of the other eight. It's going to sell out InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com. It'll probably sell out in the next week as well. We've got more of it, but at the new X2 with the multi-million-year-old purple crystal um, iodine, nobody else has got it. It's true nascent iodine. X2, it's even better than the survival shield that's proprietary we have. It's excellent. I think this is probably too strong for kids. Consult your physician, so I would use the regular. You know, uh, it, It's good to have both. This is just almost as twice as strong and... Um, a form of iodine nobody else has, and it's just incredible for what it's done for me and my body and supercharging. The iodine conspiracy is amazing. Survival Shield X2, InfoWarsLife.com, or 888-253-3139. Don't forget the Sunday show coming up this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. We'll have all the big Bilderberg wrap-up coverage, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. Tell friends and family there's a war on for the mind. You are the soldiers on the front line. Make no mistake, I mean, it's really happening. You're battling the New World Order, whether you want to admit that's happening or not, you're in an epic struggle. Uh, Michael in Oregon, thanks for calling. You're on the air. Hey, Alex. I uh, just want you to know, I yesterday I called Ron Wyden and I called Greg Walden. Ron Wyden's my senator here. Good. And Greg Walden is the only Republican that we have in Oregon. And I told them both. I said, listen, you know, the Logan Act, you know, it's, it's a violation of law to meet in this capacity, and I want you guys to investigate it. You have a duty to do it, and I'm getting – ticked off that you guys won't even do anything and i get the same response all the time well i'll pass the message on to the senator it's like well it's not a message it's a request for action because you have a, a responsibility under federal law to do something i mean what is it what do we have to do i mean i'm a software engineer and i sit at home and i code all day but i'm getting tired of these the blatant i agree but if you call the fbi it's run by uh you know the justice department total criminals uh, if you call I mean, the police don't like it in England, but they, they're not. They, it's compartmentalization. Great point. Great caller. Michael, great. Thank you so much. Mike, Clay, and Toby, final caller straight ahead in overdrive this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m., folks. You the, are listening the, the video to feed GCN. continues on at InfoWars.com forward slash show today. or at the Bilderberg icon, the all-seeing eye on InfoWars. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply 
utilized worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Australia.